the 17th century, a rough family of London cloth cutters called Beckford emigrated to the newly conquered colony of Jamaica to seek its fortune. The Beckfords invested in sugar and slaves. And within four generations became one of the richest families in England. They were the yuppies of their day, part of an emerging social class which aspired to become the new aristocracy. There was Beckford the planter, who wrote a unique handbook on how to run a sugar estate. Out of every four African slaves, scarcely one produces a really efficient worker. And Beckford the playboy, who used sugar profits to bring about a revival in Gothic architecture. Some people drink to forget their unhappiness. I don't drink. I build. But he'd be best remembered for his part in a notorious sexual scandal. He told his life story to a biographer to try to restore his reputation. While slavery flourished and sugar sales boomed, the Beckford's world was an orgy of greed and extravagance. But the industry that made them was built on human suffering and greed and would eventually destroy them. This is the story of the rise and